What's up, guys? It's Chris. Welcome back to PHP. I'm just pretty upset with myself right now. So, because I just fucking filmed a video that I had to throw away because the one of the most important things in the topics I didn't talk about. So, if I'm talking a little bit fast, I'm sorry, but it's just because I'm on lunch right now and I'm not trying to spend my whole lunch doing this. So, um, case series heads. Um, I, 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 like a year or so back, I made a video. It's in the case series playlist I have on my channel uh, about like, you know, the head, the differences in the head, like uh, for compression. Like you hear people talking about this head versus that head and the changes in compression and whatnot. I don't see that. And I've also made a video a couple years ago about uh, case, you know, the the K20 head versus K24 head. Like, is it worth head swapping your K24? And I don't think the answer is. I think the answer is no. It is not worth it. Are you going to see power gains? Yes, but the power gains you see are or. I, I would not really say superficial because we're talking 10 or 15 wheel horsepower in a, but at the end of the day, we're seeing 10 to 15 wheel horsepower gains on average. And that 10 to 15 wheel horsepower gain, you would lose in torque between swapping the heads. And then uh, now we're seeing a lot more VTEC killer setups come up and uh, VTEC killer setups versus head swap setups. And it seems to me at the end of the day, the only thing that is, makes this head swapping worthwhile is if you want the VTEC killer crossover and you don't want locked VTEC. So if you really want that locked, uh, that, that, you know, you don't want locked VTEC, you want to be able to run on a more normal setup, then yeah, do the head swap. But if you really factor in, factor in cost for doing a head swap versus the VTEC killer, cams, generally speaking, are like 80 bucks. Uh, valve seals, if you want to reseal your shit and, and then clean up, I guess. But I mean, if you're just doing something at home, you could just, you know, take it out, reseal it, put the new, you know, your new rockers in there and whatnot and call it a day. But um, so what is the real benefits of the or the real differences between these K-series heads? And I think um, uh, the, the, the most popular head for porting wise is like the PPA head. So digging into this and trying to figure out why, you know, what heads are what heads really benefit more. And I think that the answer is pretty simple. At the end of the day, the, the benefits from different heads or swapping different heads doesn't so much come from just swapping the head over and making more power. I think the benefits between the heads really comes from um, how much meat they have available for removal when it comes to porting. Now, the RBB heads don't have as much meat to take off as the K20 heads like the RBC heads. So those, uh, or was it the, was I know it's one of the K20 heads has more. I think maybe the RBC isn't the best one for porting. It's the, the first generation one, which is the first RBC, and what is the other one? I can't remember off the top of my head. But it is, so again, at the end of the day, it's one of those things where I think the K-Series has the real difference that comes between the heads and when you're choosing which one you want to do is if you're trying to make extreme power NA or if you're going for a really big turbo build and you're, you're going to port your head or whatnot, then yeah, by all means, go ahead and be picky on the head you're going to choose. But I think if you're going to just turbo a stock head or if you're going to do NA with a stock head, I really don't see a big benefit of doing head swaps and whatnot. Uh, I just don't see it there. And I think that the, the VTEC killer head is becoming more and more and more my favorite thing because if you're trying to make a fast car, then it doesn't really matter if you're not getting the best fuel efficiency from not being able to have a lower cam lift at lower RPMs. Because if you're trying to build a fast car, uh, you're not really going to be spending time in the lower RPMs anyway. So... And, and of course, I, I guys, I got more updated info on another VTEC killer setup that made a very, very good power on a very simple setup. And I'm going to make a video of that later. Um, I've already posted on Instagram how much power it made and all that stuff in the setup. But the, he has sent me race footage as well uh, against a Night Gen SI and versus a, a WRX. So I'm going to I'm gonna edit that all up, mash it together, make a review of the, of the setup and show you some content. And you can hear it driving. The car sounds very nice. Sounds pretty normal. Um, so yeah, uh, again, you know, I'm offering upgraded VTECular heads. So it's the base model head, yes, but with upgraded uh, springs, you know, and that stock upgraded springs. So we're talking about stock VTEC springs, which are twice the size of the base model springs uh, and professionally cleaned for like 550 shipped with new seals and everything. So if you consider how much money you're gonna invest in a K20 head uh, or, you know, a real VTEC K20 head, um, at the end of the day, I don't really see the gains being there to because it it could potentially cost you eight hundred to a thousand dollars. You know, even four pistons the other day said you know you could buy all this shit or you could just buy one of our heads that's already got this work done. So yeah, if you if you go out and you spend five six hundred dollars on a head and hopefully it comes with the the rocker arm assembly, hopefully it comes with cams, 
Because if not, then you're spending another couple hundred dollars on a rocker assembly, uh, another uh, 80 to 100 dollars on cams. You still got to clean it. You still got to reseal it. So you could easily spend close to a thousand dollars on buying that versus buying a VTEC killer head for me, which won't cost you a thousand dollars, and <laughs> will come ready to go. Now I do admit that I'm offering 550 without the rocker arm assembly, and I and I offer the a VTEC killer ready drop cam ready uh, assembly because you got to cut for that. You know, cam ready assembly for two hundred dollars, so five, six, seven. So it would be seven hundred dollars shipped, but you know, it's cleaned, resealed, ready to go, or you could just cut the rock arms yourself and save money, or you know, so there's all kinds of options. You don't have to spend the crazy amount of money to get uh, to get there. Um, all right, that's just some stuff I wanted to throw out there and let you guys know the uh, other videos coming soon. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below, even if it's not related to this topic. Uh, DMs are for business guys. If you're just asking me tech questions in my DMs, I'm not going to answer you. Uh, chances are I've already answered your, your, your questions. So um, social media links in the description down below, and peace. Thanks for watching.